Hello Unlimited friends, our question today is about parenting and the question was contributed by Anisha. She says, um, my boy is 7 and 12. <clears throat> I see my boy is 7 and 12 getting uh, or being in competitive mode almost all the time over everything. It wasn't like this until younger one wasn't getting independent. I see as he's growing, my elder one is more protective or possessive, and this is leading to sometimes cold and sometimes angry arguments. Not really bad compared to how I have fought with my brother, but we didn't, or at least I can say I never saw my brother as competition. So basically what she's saying is, I understand it's all a phase, just trying to see what we can do as parents, balancing things and ensure as much as we can that they maintain their sweet relationship as they grow. So she's asking for tips, tips uh, that I need to be aware of while I talk discipline and, and while I'm around them. All right, Anisha, this is a fabulous question and extremely relevant because all parents want their children to love each other, get along with each other, and be each other's support in life. You want that from your siblings, don't you? Okay, so now let's talk about parenting. You see, in parenting, the most important thing to understand is that neither one of the children is right or wrong. They both have their own perspective. They both, they are individuals with their own belief systems developing and even though you are the parent the way each child uh, processes things that are happening in their environment can be different number one thing anisha is that if you focus on competition then there will be competition and so the one thing you must absolutely do as a parent is to eliminate comparison between the two I know from my own experience, I've seen my own parents do this, is that parents will say, oh, uh, look at your brother. Look at how he's doing things. You should do it like that or don't do it like that. Either way is wrong. <clears throat> you should never make one child a tool for teaching the other child that, that in fact creates comparison between the two of them. And depending on the child, they're going to take it in different ways. So just look at it from this point of view. If you always tell, if you appreciate the older child, and I know that this is what is happening because I'm reading your energy, this is what's happening in your family. You, your older child, you gave a lot of time and attention to, and this older child is a good child. They're both good children, but this child behaves the way you want him too. So what you have done is over a period of time, you have trained your older boy to be very concerned about how you look at things and how you look at him and his behavior. He cares about that. To him, that's where his importance comes from. That's where he feels special because he makes an effort to be exactly the type of child you want him to be. And so when you ask the younger one to be like the older one or you appreciate the older one and therefore the younger one wants to be like the older one, now you're taking something away from the older one because he doesn't want competition. He doesn't want the younger one to be like him. He wants to be your special child, your firstborn, your special child who makes an effort to be the perfect child. That's what he wants. And then you know what he sees? He sees your younger child getting away with things that he thinks because he's learned from you that those are inappropriate things. But he sees that the younger child is getting away with them. Your love for the younger child is not changing because he's doing these inappropriate things. Whereas now your older child thinks that your love for the younger child should change because he's not behaving as a good boy. You have taught your older one that he should be a good boy and he has become a really good boy. So now by not 
by being more relaxed with the younger child, you are creating a difference between the two. It's okay. A lot of parents do this. All parents are more concerned with teaching their oldest born, their first born good manners and the right way to do things. And then all parents become more relaxed when the second child comes around. So here's what I think will help you, Anisha. Number one, stop comparing them. You stop comparing them. Your older one is special in his way. Your younger one is special in his way. And I don't know if you have the opportunity to grab this book, but I would grab this book. Is this apple from my tree is the book I wrote on the request of my daughter. I wrote this book on parenting. And so this will give you the law of attraction um, perspective on parenting. Um, my daughter asked me to write this book. And um, I think that it will give you many of the answers that you're looking for. So, um, first of all, you stop comparing the two children. Number two, you should have the same modus operandi, whether it's the older child or the younger child. Whatever you taught the older child, you should treat the younger child exactly the same way. And if you are changing your behavior, I changed my behavior. When my older child happened, I didn't know law of attraction. When my younger child happened, I had discovered law of attraction. So now my behavior with my younger child was completely different. And my older child became upset about this. So I had to explain to my older one why I had changed the way I was thinking and therefore the rules had changed. So that's number two. Number three, I don't discipline my children. There's no discipline. There are no rules. I let them be who they are. I let them decide when they want to eat, when they want to sleep, and if they want to go to school or not. I don't make those rules. Because if I don't let them own their own consequences, then they will always be dependent on me. My son, when he was in middle school, didn't want to go to school in the morning. So I said, fine, don't go. But it's not my problem. So I'm not going to be upset about it. I'm not going to be angry about it. I'm going to let you take responsibility for what you're doing. So if he didn't attend class, he didn't understand his lessons, he didn't do well on his exams, it was not my problem. I did not feel good about it and I did not feel bad about it. I just told myself, it's not my problem. A lot of times, parents make the children's consequences their problem. And that's when you take it on you. Now you are, first of all, you're getting stressed about it. Number two, the children can feel your negative vibration. They can feel your, um, they can feel your angst, they can feel your stress. So that's not helpful because then they think something's wrong. So you need to be relaxed about them. You need to hang on to the belief. These are your beliefs about your children or should be your beliefs about your children. I know that they are your beliefs about your children, but you need to remind yourself because you forget about it. You forget when, when there's a fight going on, you forget these things. The number one thing that you need to remember is your children are good children. Both of them are good children. That's number one. Number two that you need to remind yourself all the time is that they love each other. Just like you used to have fights with your brother, I used to have fights with my brother, but we love each other dearly. You have to remember that. You have to remember that the fight is between the two of them. Number three is that you need to remember that the fight is between the two of them. You are an outsider. It's not your problem. Stop interfering in their affairs. Let them manage their own relationship. Remember that they love each other. 
let them figure it out they have the capacity to figure it out it's not your job and you should not be getting in the middle of it number four you should love both of them exactly the way they are without wanting either one of them to change and become more like the other one oh you should do that more like your older brother or tell the older brother you should be more like the younger one when you say that you're insulting your children they are uniquely independently perfect and they always want their parent to think about them that way so when you change the way you behave your children's attitude will change because when you are always exuding love when you don't think that there's something going wrong then they will know the well-being that prevails they will understand what love truly is and they will always return to love you've got to trust that your children know what they are doing they also have guidance that's number 5 bonus tip remember number 5 bonus tip is that your children know what they are doing because they also have guidance and when one of them is not good to the other one they will feel bad and they will go and make up because love prevails and they both have guidance and then they intuitively know how to use their guidance because we all do we are born with that knowledge you don't have to interfere in that so anisha and everyone else who is interested in in parenting i'm going to advise you to go grab this book first of all and secondly i'm going to say thank you for the question really enjoyed it and i hope that this response helps you to cope better with your children and be a happier mom because a happier mom is one who doesn't get stressed about what the kids are doing and when the mom is a happier mom the children are happier children all right guys before you leave remember what you have to do you need to subscribe click on that notification bell and hit the like button plus before you go i would like you to drop me a comment so that i know that you were here for those of you who are new on my channel hi i'm zara mohun you can find out more about me on my website zimohun.com as a result of applying the principles that i teach in my talks my books and my courses people who feel lost or have given up on their dreams are able to discover their authentic self and renew their enthusiasm for living life they start hitting their personal and their business goals i am looking for people who are ready to transform their lives bring more love into their hearts and more money in their bank accounts who do you know who might need my help take care folks i'll see you in my next video